Developing news now, Charleston police are investigating after a person was found shot to death behind a King Street business. News 2's Forrest Tucker joins us live from downtown Charleston and Forrest still an active investigation right there behind the Toast restaurant. Aaron, good afternoon. Uh, the victim has been identified as 64 year old Gaber Baghdadi of Hanahan. The coroner says that he died at 1145 p.m. on Tuesday night. He died from a gunshot wound poor uh, per the Charleston County coroner, and it was at 5 Radcliffe Street, which is just behind me through these trees at the parking lot here off of King Street. It's always front page news when it happens. So. People on King Street are reacting to the death of a man who was shot to death overnight. Um, it's kind of crazy that this crime is coming to King Street. Um, you know, I don't know what's causing it or why it's happening. The Charleston Police Department says that the shooting happened on Radcliffe Street, just off of King Street, where EMS pronounced the victim dead. CPD has every violent crime detective in their central division working on the case to solve it. Charleston PD is bringing uh, no efforts to bring the person to justice that was involved in this uh, senseless crime that, uh, that occurred. Near the scene, Toast All Day Restaurant has a sign on their door that says they are closed today because of a death in their staff. Woody Norris's business, Booze Pops, is just a block away from where the shooting happened. He says that he wants to make sure his employees are safe. Uh, we want to protect everyone uh, as much as possible, and, and we try to take every measure there is uh, for safety. Going forward, Norris wants there to be more well-lit areas with phones or a police presence across downtown. And then when you walk out uh, after your, your night of enjoyment or having a good time, if the streets are completely silent. There's no one there. It's, we need safe zones. I tried to speak to the managers of Toast All Day, but I have not received a response yet. It is a developing story. We'll have details as they come to us on air and online at CountOn2.com. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, I'm Forrest Tucker, Count On 2.